Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Drak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 together with the new city of the Cossacks. We're playing as Russia and we have taken a giant bite out of Bukhara in the last episode. Uh, we also lost our great leader in the last at the end of the last episode, so now we have low legitimacy and had a pretender rise up here. I think we should dispatch him pretty fast. I think he really has a chance. No, he doesn't stand a chance at all. And thanks to the defensive ideas, our armies are now considerably less shitty than before. We've gotten 15% more morale. We have some more army tradition. Uh, we're going to just finish him. I hope. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. The uh, cat is making a nuisance of itself again. She's um, yeah, scratching the door and all that. No good. Oh, and Poland would have helped me out with my rebel problem. I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, not in a war at all. Yeah, we might send the combined um, power of the Commonwealth and Russia against Sweden. It would involve Bohemia. Oh, and they declared war on Verdun. So who is your enemy now? Verdun and Bohemia. So you couldn't really come to my aid against Sweden. Again, we have a church um, thingy. I'm going to take the ducats for now. Why can't we build any manufactories? Okay, what is that? The Livonian Order has high liberty desire, really? Why? Okay. I can just use my my prestige to bring down the liberty desire. I wonder what gives them the idea that they might have any chance against me. I really don't quite understand. But yeah, whatever floats their boat. Culture conversion of Crimea is coming along at a snail's pace. Very slowly, very slowly. And we have separatists in Kipchak. Oh. So we had an army standing in there, that is good. I well, have a pretty good general in there. I hope we can win this. That doesn't look too good. Well, the problem is, whenever I move one of my guys up there, they're not come uh, at the right time. I won't be able to reinforce this army, really. Just have to hope that this army can win it. Go on. Go on, army of Poland. I know you can do it. And they're, they're getting really good rolls. And we lost. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. It might be it might be time to rethink our standard army template. Mm. I'm going to I'm going to make a new one. I have eighteen eighteen guys in there. Four and eight, like that maybe. Two, one, two, like that. Thirty-four thousand. Yeah, that looks about right. So we're going to save that. Mm. Manchu made peace with Ming. Manchu will drag Ming into war with Japan. Manchu will become a vassal of Ming. Interesting stuff is happening over here. So Ming is at war with Japan. 
wonder who's going to win that. Have I have I met both um, civilizations? So Japan has seventy four thousand men. How many does Ming have? One hundred and twelve. Yeah, could be a close fight. Japan has pretty formidable armies. Let's have a look at their ideas. They have defensive ideas. Maritime though, that's odd. But you can see that they get 10% discipline. Um, and infantry combat ability. Their armies should be yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. I guess they could kick the shit out of Ming if they have the wrong ideas. Let's have a look at Ming. Yeah, Ming is going to get it. They have quantity ideas, which gives them a larger army. And they also get 5% more discipline. But they don't get any sort of bonus to their infantry, which is going to hurt. Because infantry is always very important, always the biggest part of, of your army. Um, except for when you're playing a step horde. It's the only, only time when you don't really care about infantry. I might have sent these guys on on forced march. I'm going to take that place. I'm going to get Bukharan separatists in Karol Park and Kiva. I'm going to put that up. Ah, because of the fort in Altin, this had no further effect on the province. Very good. I like that this is being shown now. That's a good thing. Well, I have to I have to keep an eye on these rebellions. And these rebellions have have gone better than they were before because we have so low legitimacy. That's not good. For, uh, certainly not good. Yeah, we're going to go up with the diplotech, I guess. Although, let's have a look at the culture conversions. By doing that already, I, I thought I would be able to get rid of this uh, Mishar province. 38. There were some provinces that were in 32. Oh yeah, so this place has been flipped. I think it was you, no, 38. 52. Forty-two. Maybe it's that two that I was seeing. Let's have a look at the cultures again. So what is that? I have. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm changing that already. Okay. What about these Siberian provinces? You know, forty-two. Forty-two. So thirty-two is not important at all. It seems. Okay then, then we're going to go up one Diplotech. Yeah, I know. I've been slacking on Diplotech. Pretty heavily. I'm going to overkill these guys. I have to I have to bring you back. Down here. Wonder if they we'll get there in time. Going to leave these guys in Kazan, why not? And this fort should actually flip this province on its own. So you move down here as fast as I as fast as you can. Wait, we're going to we're going to force march them. It only cost two per province. I don't want more separatism than is really necessary. Stop the maintenance there. Kievan separatists, Astraki separatists in Stavropol and in Lista. Oh yeah. Over here. That's precisely the reason why I have to flip these cultures. Okay, go back. You don't, you don't really need it in Russia proper. 
Uh, what else? Russian pretender rebels. Oh yeah, you are being you are needed. Okay, Siberian separatists, Kievan separatists. Gurganj and Karakum. Where the hell is that? Oh yeah, over here. Okay, so move down. You're going to move over here. Go on, get a move on. One of the big problems when playing Russia, you just have so much land. It's way nicer to play in the HRE, <laughs> in a way. Although, on the other hand, you have a very enviable strategic position. We don't need the forced march anymore. And Bukhara is slowly building up its army after being completely crushed by us. I could use the next tech with the increased supply limit. That would be rather nice. And we are having a rebellion up here. Can't you? Why do you have to move through here? You ass! These two are, are literally just bordering each other. And Persia declared war on Bukhara. Yeah, that is what I thought would happen. Now that they are weakened, they are an easy target. They are our ally, so go Persia, I guess. We need them against the Ottomans. Okay. So this is looking this is looking good. Sevastopol has now the culture we desire. Astrakhani separatists in Stavropol and Ilista. Kievan separatists. Still going. Russian pretender rebels. Tobolsk Bielo Yarsky. Yugen Varyagansk and Kemerov. Okay. I'm guessing that these places are somewhere over here. Yeah, over here. Well, we don't have any real forts and all that. I simply don't have the money to have all these forts over here. That would bankrupt me. I want more national ideas. Trade ideas would be incredibly nice. Also getting offensive ideas would be a pretty strong thing. That would make our armies um, a lot better. It would give us another land force limit modifier. So that we could really feel giant armies. Uh, discipline is also nice. We don't have any bonus discipline at all. Although we might be able to change to a absolute monarchy. We need admin tech 20 for that. Okay, so two more attacks. That gives you gives you more discipline. Excellent. One of our colonies has grown enough to be self-sustaining over here. Good, I like it. Russian pretender. Hmm. 
So what's in here? How many natives? 200 and a thousand. Okay, so we're going to continue with you to the next um, place. Yeah, I should also close the gap down here. Maybe I should do that right now. Although, I could also send more colonists down here. Do more colonizing, but the cost for, for colonies really skyrockets if you have more than the amount of colonists that you have. Because it is, it doesn't, um, cost doesn't increase linear, it increases exponentially, so it gets really costly after a while. I was looking with the Kievan separatists, so Gurganj and Karakum are the places where they will rise up. Going to give you a leader. Although army tradition looking not good because we don't have our forts active. I need the money. I simply don't have the money to have these forts active. Well, maybe it's also because I have a lot of old forts hanging around. That might be true. Actually, I do have the money to upgrade some of them and also to build some buildings I haven't done that yet um, well oh I can even produce many factories so if I would do the weapons manufactory what would that do for us not a lot How about that? Meh. Yeah. Nope. No, it's not the courthouse I want. I want a taxation. Yeah, this place. We're going to get the, the cathedral in the next admin tech it's not that far away it doesn't really look like i have a lot of provinces that give me good taxation this place is worth it i guess i wonder why the church is giving us more tax money strikes me as a bit odd but yeah what do i know let's put it over here point one is good i guess Point thirteen is a bit better. I have a lot of money. Why not spend it to increase my income at least a bit? Yeah, these provinces are nearly worthless. Point thirteen. Point ten. Point ten. Okay, that looks good. What about the workshop? Yeah, that might have been a thing. That place is certainly helping. Point 0.26. I'm not sure what we are producing there, but it must be pretty precious. I guess fur. What are we doing here in Tula? No iron. Okay, yeah, I guess that's a, a precious resource. Very useful. If you want to do anything militarily. Yeah. These guys are marching through my land because I gave Persia the right to march through my land. Oh well. I don't like that Persia is going to get all this land. Now that I come to think of it. I want that land. I really have to think about what I want to do with this game. And our Regency Council is over. Ooh, when our ruler dies, the following will happen. Succession war between Commonwealth and France. What? Okay, a lot of provinces are called now. Oh, in a way, in a way I have reached my goal with this game. Because I have uh, won the early game with Novgorod, 
against Muscovy. That is actually the exciting bit of this game now as Russia. It is mainly just um, yeah pushing on, but we're so gigantic that no one can do anything against us, really. I'm going to start um, converting these people, just because I can. I would like to get another missionary. Oh yeah, I can actually get that by becoming Defender of the Faith. Might not be a bad idea. Garwal wants to move through my land, yeah. Why not? Let them move through it. Okay. The progress for these guys is decaying. These guys are decaying. Now that our land is all called, we don't have any problems anymore, except with these Kievan guys. They will still revolt in a year. Let them come! Let them come, I'm not afraid. And Kipchak is called. Convert Karamitgan to Orthodox. Okay, missionary strength plus 1%. That's good. That's really good. Oh, and we are already in the process of converting it. Great. So we're going to get a bonus and can convert the rest of these lands way faster than before. I like it. I like it. I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like if you didn't tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing. Maybe you also want to have uh, a look into my other content. Um, maybe the uh, Darkest Dungeon Subs to the Rescue series, I, where I'm putting my subscribers in the game as heroes. Ooh, and we gain one stability and the clergy gains 10 loyalty. For many years our policies have motivated a large majority of our population to dutifully attend the expected religious ceremonies. The clergy has shown its thanks for our supportive policy by making supportive comments. Good. Well, that helps actually. Now even the Kievans shouldn't really... Yeah, they are, they are heathens, so they're going to rebel anyway. They don't care. How well the clergy likes us. Anyway, I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.